que eso. Hi, John. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Chikil? What's up? Headed home. I actually headed to pick up my wife. I just left work late. Now I'm headed to pick up my wife. What's up, everybody? What's going on? I want to tell you guys, join me tomorrow. Me and Austin tomorrow. Sub Cyprus, I should say Cyprus, depending if you're Greek or if you're American. It could be Cyprus or Cyprus. But I'm driving, I'm headed to um, pick up my wife, guys. What's up, everybody? I see you all joining. What's up, Serena? What's going on? Hey, there's a face I haven't seen in a little bit. El Toro, El Toro Negro. What's going on? So I just left work. Sun's going down in New York City. I'm driving on the FDR. And I'm headed to pick up my wife. Thank you. It says be safe. Thank you very much. I would try to be safe. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the guys behind me. I have to trust that they'll hit their brakes. Isn't that crazy? Isn't driving the most craziest thing? Hello from Denmark. How's your little sister? She is fantastic. Thank God. She's doing, she's doing very, very well. I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate you asking that. She's doing absolutely fantastic. Shoot, she's doing better than me, quite frankly. She don't pay rent. She eats all the food in the house. She's well taken care of and spoiled. She, she can't complain. <laughs> she can't complain, right? How are you guys all doing, man? How's your day going? I know there's a lot going on in Meerkat, so I gotta say I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the meerkat love here, man. John, I hope you're doing well. I saw you driving. When was it? Was it this morning I caught you driving? Or last night I caught you driving? Be safe out there, brother. That, that's the guy who has to be safe, man. When you're driving a truck, people people drive and cut by you like, you know, like you can't squash them like a bug. Trust me, I work with buses, so I know people are crazy out there, man. People are crazy out there. You're driving a mat truck and people think they can just cut you off and go in front of you like you can hit the brake and just stop on a dime. You know? So John's got a tough job out there. So does Ben from D Trucking. Follow John, by the way, guys, and show him. Um, he, John is the icon up there with the Volvo truck. What some might call a Mack truck, but Mack truck is not the brand, it's a Volvo. You can see how bumpy the roads are over here, too. Like, going up and down and all around, man. These streets, these highways are bad. These highways are really bad. Ana Victoria. Hola, Ana. Como esta todo? How are you doing? Hey, guys, if I can encourage you guys to do anything, subscribe to my um, my upcoming stream tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'll be with Austin Luliano. Uh, we'll be streaming together. We'll be talking about websites. We'll be talking about social media and the term churner. We'll be talking a lot about social media and how to help people navigate their way through social media tomorrow. It'll be fun. We had a lot of fun last time. We had about uh, over 2,100 people watch. We had 350 plus people in the room at one time. And so Austin's really great. He's helped rich people make more money. Um, he's an expert. He offers his help for free here. That'll be you guys keeping me company while I drive, so I don't I don't go crazy. But um, 
Yeah, so a churner is a person who has like 60,000 people following them, but you look at how many people they follow, and they're only following like maybe <laughs> 3,000. It's, 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 it's a ridiculous number. That's what a churner is. Anyway, John says, drive safe. Yeah, bro, I'll see you around. See you later. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean, Sean Griffin. I just saw your icon. Sorry, I can't keep my eyes on the road and, and, and on the uh, thing at the same time. So I'm, try, I'm trying to see you guys. Mesha, how's it going? What's up, guys? I'm not the prettiest face. I'm coming from work, so this is like my work uniform. Um, I'm an engineer for the city. I, I decided not to change it to my regular clothes. So let me keep on my work clothes because... Well, actually, this is a clean pair of work clothes. I just changed it. I'm just going to come right back in the morning anyway. So I figured I'd just come back in the uniform. That way I don't have to change when I get to work. I can maybe sit down for a little bit longer, you know? So I got two people in here currently watching. Yeah, that's the least amount of people I've, I've had in a long time. But two and three, that's how I, I remember when I first started Meerkat back in March. I used to sit here and I used to talk in, in front of the video for like no lie, I used to talk for almost like 30 minutes until somebody <laughs> was watching. And then I'll try to keep them, I'll try to keep them there, you know. It was, I remember how difficult it was when I first started Meerkat. Now Meerkat has grown so much. Meerkat, Meerkat has such great high resolution that any little drop in signal can change from video to audio. That's the difference between Periscope and um, the difference between Periscope and a uh, Meerkat. So Meerkat has excellent audio. Ex I mean, excellent. Meerkat is excellent. The problem with the excellent video is it takes so much data that with Meerkat, unlike Periscope, um, any little drop in data or signal will change from video to audio like just rapidly like that. You know what I mean? Unlike Periscope, which has like a horrible, Periscope has a horrible uh, video quality. But the pro, but but the the good thing is with Periscope, you'll keep the video will keep going. Like you won't drop, you won't see many drops in Periscope. But that's 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 because Periscope is compensating. They decided, well, you don't need high resolution video really. All you need to is to, is to make out the person, <laughs> pretty much, and the conversation will go fine. Uh, where they sacrifice meerkat doesn't sacrifice video quality meerkat does high def But the problem with high definition is like I said if you go from 5 4g bars to 4 4g bars It'll go to audio immediately immediately so Not the coolest thing. Hi, Susan. Hi, David How's it going Susan? How's it going David? Hi, Dolly How you doing Dolly? It's great to see you Hi, Volt track What's up, Chris? Chris who wants a Mexican restaurant one day. David, what's going on? Susan Paulus, how you doing, girlfriend? How's it going out there? How's everything? Gigi, how are you, Gigi? Tony, my man, what's going on? So, you know, I'm reminiscing of when I start, first started uh, doing a Meerkat. I started Meerkat back in March, probably mid, early, uh, late March. And I remember I used to talk like this in front of the camera. I remember when you, I first started Meerkat, I had to talk at least 10 minutes before at least one person popped on, you know? And so you see one little blip, boop. And actually, the, the first people I used to actually see that used to come on to me were Nora, Victoria, Victor from Swedish Food TV. It's, it, it, it was almost like we were the only ones <laughs> who, were on, who were on Meerkat at the time. And we would just jump on each other's streams and talk to one another. I, I, I miss that, actually. I miss that intimacy I had with those guys. You know, Mitch. 
uh, these guys, they don't really pop on my stream too much anymore. I mean, Victor will come in. They'll still subscribe. They'll still retweet. I, and by the way, this is not saying anything bad. I'm just saying that Meerkat's gotten so busy. And, you know, everyone, I think, has gotten busy and, and started figuring who they are Meerkat. So, I, but I do miss that little intimacy back in March that we had. And <laughs> that was very fun. It was very funny, though. You have to talk. Because the thing that Meerkat, you couldn't just stay silent and wait for that one person's face to show up. Because <laughs> you wait for that one person's face to show up. And when you're saying something, they're looking at you like, why isn't that person talking? Because there's that 20 second lag time. You know what I mean? So, but, but yeah, that, that was something else. But then, birthday week, man. Yeah, Tony, it's my birthday week still. 36 years old, I turned yesterday. 36 years old. And uh, feels good. 36 years old feels good. I don't mind this age. It's not a bad age. I mean, I still, I still metabolize better when I was younger. Let me get over here. It seems like there's a cop coming through. Police are coming through. So, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? There goes the policia. So I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge right now, by the way, guys. Driving on the Brooklyn Bridge. So this is what the inside of the Brooklyn Bridge looks like. For those of you who probably never seen the inside of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> guys, I apologize about that. But if you guys can hear me, I just want to say I love Meerkat. I think the community in Meerkat is growing tremendously. I think Meerkat is absolutely different from Periscope. Um, in the fact that I made better relationships on, on Meerkat than I could with Periscope. And I'm trying with Periscope, guys. Periscope is hard to make relationships with. I think what I got to do is I got a Meerkat and Periscope at the same time. So I'm going to invest, maybe get an iPad with uh, five gigabytes of data, some Wi-Fi connection. Tomorrow, me and, me and Austin will be talking about 7 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, Eastern T Standard Time. Me and Austin will be streaming. Um, and Austin's amazing. He's helped clientele, uh, you know, gross over $2 million in revenue by just helping them with their personal brand marketing. He's a marketing guru. Uh, he knows Gary V well. Um, and so me and him do a show together Thursday nights to help people navigate the web, help, help them better build their websites, better build whatever it is they're trying to work on. Um, and we take Q&A and it's, it goes really well. So. I like it. It's fun. And we have a good time, too. It's not just all boring and questions and Q&A. It gets fun, too. So, because Meerkat will, will drive your stream left or right. You can't really control your stream. That's the one thing I learned on Meerkat. If you try, here's a Meerkat tip for you guys. If you try to control your stream, if you try to stay on topic with your stream, you will fail miserably. And you will lose your audience on Meerkat because the audience will really tell you how they want your stream to go and you gotta and you gotta hold on to that you guys gotta learn to you know if you're gonna stream you gotta learn to just flow with the audience so at any moment you guys can change the stream you guys can say one thing and boom the stream's gonna go a whole nother direction hi my love hi diane how are you doing diana it's great to see you here thank you for being here thanks for the like and retweet diana so i'm driving to pick up my wife should be there Maybe 20, 20, 20 to 30 more minutes. So I took this time to stream. I was going to stream earlier today. I thought I was going to leave work early, but apparently that did not happen the way I planned it to. So, oh well. Now I'm, I'm going to pick up the wife who's at a friend's house. Oh, Lord. So, you know, I enjoy Meerkat. The thing here, the thing between Meerkat, I'm talking about Meerkat and Periscope, by the way, guys. The, the difference between Meerkat and Periscope is Periscope has a lot more traffic. I saw Sonia Combs. Sonia Combs went on to Periscope today. Not today, last night. I didn't see her on Periscope, but they, Periscope has a replay option and feature. I don't know if she knows about that. But um, she doesn't get much traffic on Meerkat. But she went on Periscope and had 71 people watch automatically. Like her first time ever on Periscope and she had 71 people watch. So Periscope has the foot traffic that Meerkat's still working on. Mere Meerkat has foot traffic, but not as intense as Periscope does. 
and sorry about the audio guys that's the that's the unfortunate part while you're driving I was talking about this part earlier about meerkat and periscope the reason people people always go manual Meer, meerkat meerkat always goes to audio just the the, the reception isn't that great uh, the truth is there's a reason for that um, if you look at periscope and you look at meerkat you'll you can tell meerkat has this high def resolution this really good look to it while Periscope looks like complete doo-doo. Um, and the reason for that is because that is what Periscope decided to do. The creators of Periscope, by the way, I hope you guys can still hear me. I know you can't see me, but I hope you can still hear me. Diana says, oh, Christina's so sweet. Audio on that video, how it goes in and out, guys. That's basically, Periscope decided that they're gonna have like shit quality uh, viewing, you know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see, um, you're not going to be able to see, uh, well on Periscope. Like Periscope really has bad video streaming quality, but they did that purposely, believe it or not. They did that purposely. So the streams won't drop to audio often. What happens is when you're on data or even Wi-Fi, if your connection even drops a little bit, Periscope has what 480p or less so you really the video doesn't take up much data or much uh, connection so your chances of losing uh, audio or vid uh, a video video is, is, is very very um, slight you know you have to really have bad connection to lose video on Periscope because their video is crap it's doo doo literally <laughs> but um, on Meerkat Meerkat has HD video. Right now you're looking at this in HD. Low HD quality, yes, but HD nonetheless. And so any slight change in the data or, or anything will, boom, audio, real, right, real, right away, right away to audio. Um, so, but that's how Meerkat compensates. Where if you notice if you lose a connection in Periscope, Periscope doesn't offer you the audio option. It just automatically says trying to regain connection. But that makes sense because you got to really have a real bad connection on Periscope to lose connection. While on Meerkat, they said, okay, you probably want to listen to them still. So we'll change the audio anytime the data drops below a certain range so you can't see them in HD. But Meerkat said they're not going to sacrifice video for for their audience. So, but that's, but you know, that's, that's, how, that's how Meerkat sort of is as well. You know, you'll get... You know, women always tend to get more viewers than men, you know, initially. Even though it should be noted that there are more men on the leaderboard than women. Uh, you know, people often think that there's actually more women on the leaderboard than men, but that's not true. There's actually more men on the leaderboard. I think there's like 34, 35 women on the leaderboard and the rest are men. And the leaderboard is 100 people, so look at that. You know, the men outshine the women a lot on Meerkat. Even though there's a lot of women streamers, um, they're either not consistent or... Uh, people get bored of them right away, so for whatever reason, I don't know, you know, or maybe the pervs just move on to something new. I don't, I don't have a clue. Christine, at Diane, are you referring to me or another Christine? <laughs> She's referring to you, babe. <laughs> She's referring to you. By the way, I hope you don't have other people watching me on the stream right now, because that would be quite embarrassing. Um, so yeah, so so what are some other things? So I'm talking about Meerkat versus Periscope. Now I, I'm talking about from my experience with Meerkat and Periscope. I got a Meerkat I, again. I, I'm going to regurgitate a lot of stuff I'm saying because a lot of people are jumping on. So I apologize to those who've been here a while. But I've started Meerkat back in March when it was like me, Nora. Victor from Swedish Food TV, uh, you know, you know Victoria. Um, who else was around at that time? I think, oh, Stiletto Supermom came on. Bad Beef, he was on. Um, there's like a very few of us actually, very few of us. And I, when Periscope launched, I tried Periscope right away, and uh, there was a lot of people from. Dubai 
on the leaderboard in Periscope. Actually, it's funny enough, I hear why there's so many um, Muslim men from like Dubai and United Arab Emirates and stuff like that on top of the leaderboards in um, Periscope. The reason why is because it's, it's really funny. I, I hear that like, you know, they keep track. So like these are prince and, and, and like people of power, but you know, like you have to, in their country, you have to follow them or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but I heard like you have to follow them up or else. <laughs> it could be lies, you know, but I mean, it's not, it's not like it's anybody we know anyway. So, but I guess maybe they're famous over there. You know, but you, you never know. But that's anyway, that's a rumor I hear. Like they forced people in their country to follow them. It's like bad if you don't or something like that. I don't know if that's true, of course. I, I don't swear by it. I'm just saying, that's what I've heard. Not that the rumor is true. So, but, um, so yeah, so, but now, um, so what else about Periscope? So, but anyway, I'm trying to do Periscope more. I, I gotta get like another iOS device though. So I can do Periscope and Mirica at the same time. I think it's important to use both. I always said it's important to use all platforms, all social media platforms. In regards to you building your personal brand or or marketing yourself, you should all, use all media platforms. And especially live streaming is so brand new. I think it's very important to use, I think it's very important to use Periscope as well. Even though again, I don't feel the interaction on Periscope is anything like Meerkat. I don't, I, quite frankly, I don't like Periscope. I, I prefer Meerkat over Periscope. Because uh, I think there's more friend, friendly uh, business, more mature atmosphere on Meerkat. And the connection with people are, is a lot better on Meerkat. So. Yeah. So everybody who's here, what's going on? Is Voltrek still in the house? Guys, you gotta give me a thumbs up or something, am I? Uh, can people start giving me a thumbs up? Give me some icon, give me some rockets. Let me know that you're here because, or I don't even know if it's this is working or the stream's about to cut off or something because I just need to know someone's here. The shadow on my face, this light on my face, I should say. I need to know you people can hear me basically. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, because this happens on Meerkat sometimes too. You guys probably experiencing a frozen. I'm probably you guys probably have been typing and I'm not seeing it, so I need to see it. Hi, Lydia. Is that Lydia? Lydia, are you here? I need, I need you people to type something. Unless did it freeze up on me again? Sometimes connection goes bad and it freezes up. So I don't know. I feel like you guys have been writing and you can probably hear me, but I cannot see a new thing. And I'm yes, I am scrolling down. I see nothing new. So. And I know my wife would have wrote something by now, at least. So, I'm afraid you guys can't hear me. Uh, Lydia, are you here? Mama G, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Somebody do something. Somebody do something. Somebody do something. All right, you know what? I'm, 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 Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm guessing at this point I'm going to try something. Try putting it on Wi-Fi. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. Um, hey, ex-wife. Life. What is going on? Are you here? Somebody type something in. There's so many people here. I need someone to type something in so I know that you guys can hear me. I need some emoji cons. Okay, an emoji con up at top. If you're typing, but I cannot see. That makes more sense. Okay, nothing yet. I have full LTE service right now. But the screen's probably gone frozen, completely frozen on me. <laughs> so this is funny, all you guys are here, you can hear me, but I can't read anything you're typing, which again, spoils the interaction, if that is the case. Let me um, let me see if that is the case. I'm gonna put T. Maybe none of you guys are here. Maybe it's all in my mind. Well, I just typed. So can I only see my stuff? This is crazy. Cheryl, 
Someone save me. Cheryl Claire. Ex-wife life. Lydia. Somebody type something in. Somebody type something in. I need to see if it's working. Meerkat has been doing this to me. It's probably going to disconnect, guys. If it disconnects, usually this happens and then it disconnects. Sucks. Totally sucks. Anyway, so uh, let me see. What else can I talk about since you guys are technically here and I can't read what the heck you're writing? So I was talking about Meerkat versus Periscope. I hope that doesn't bore you guys. I'll talk about myself, but that's probably boring as heck. I turned 36 years old yesterday. I worry a lot about my, you know, I, I guess I'm midlife crisis mode right now. I worry a lot about my health. I worry a lot about my future. I try to stay positive, but I'll be honest, I'm tired of working. I'm tired of nine to five. I'm tired of this, uh, you know, I guess you gotta be grateful, they say, but <laughs> part of me sometimes feels like running away from all this, man. Ran away from nine to five in this world that we just work. I feel like a slave. As long as I work for somebody, no, that's that's not that's generally sweeping. But I love to work with people, not for people. I guess I should say. And to me, there's a big difference between working for people and working with people. If you guys are typing, I apologize. It, I, you know, the typing part froze up because I can't see nothing you guys are typing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm just talking. And uh, if you guys can put an emoji con up top, that lets me know that you're here. I think maybe the emoji con might go through. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, I do worry a lot about the future. I think too much about it, honestly. Because I might not have a future tomorrow. <laughs> and there's a saying. The saying goes, uh, worries worries don't take care of tomorrow's troubles it only it only was it it only it only takes away the happiness of the present something like that so I had a President Bush moment right <laughs> but it's something like that the saying goes um, I'll try it again and I'll try it in my own way I'm trying to remember the exact way but I'll paraphrase it my own way which is you know, uh, worries don't do not do nothing about tomorrow's troubles. It only takes away the happiness of the present. So, something to that effect. And uh, sorry I'm not as good as Confucius or his fortune cookies. <laughs> I try. I try. I try. Sorry, guys. I know it's so important to... Um, to communicate, I know it's so so important to communicate, and I wish I could read what you guys are writing right now. I don't want to end the stream because I'm about to end it anyway soon because I'm almost where I need to pick up my wife, and maybe I can just get on her thing when she when, once my wife gets here. Maybe I can just get on her stream and maybe I can read what you guys wrote. I don't know why it froze up, but. I know there has to be at least one real person in here who has written much to me. So. That's what I need to do. Maybe I need to go yeah, in and out. Sorry, guys. It seems like if you type, it's not going through on my end, at least. Maybe the typing is going on your end. I'm not reading anybody's comments, not because I'm simply driving, but I really cannot read them because they're not coming through right now. So if you guys try to comment, they're not, you know, I'm not seeing them. Some At some point, the comments have closed out. I don't know why. I don't know why, Meerkat. Why are you doing this to me, Meerkat? Why? Oh. 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But you know what? I say I don't want to work 9 to 5. You know what? I have a great job, actually. Being an engineer and all. And... But, you know, I remember I had a buddy who was a, who was a, a, a designer and engineer for a private jets for Gulfstream. Gulfstream is a private jet company. And they make these wonderful, beautiful, million-dollar private jets. And he used to work there. And he became an archaeologist. He quit his job, became an archaeologist. And he never looked back. Never, never, never looked back. Never, never, never looked back. Why is this truck making so much noise? That is scary. It's very, very scary. I have a... I have a belief that my wife will be coming downstairs with somebody else saying, can you give him a drive home? And I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want to drive nobody home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Okay. So now I'm in Guidoville, the Italian neighborhood of the Guidos. Yes, I want to keep streaming. Aha, there it goes. It all is coming back. Russell, what's going on? Yours just came through. Nobody else has been coming through, but yours came through somehow. So, don't know what the heck is going on. Anyway. I gotta call my wife, because my wife is gonna be here soon. But nothing's going on, buddy. I'm picking up my wife right now. And I'm pretty much here. Um, how you been? How's your day going, buddy? I'm chill mode. I'm chill mode, man. So, oh, look, it says connection restored. I wonder if it's working now. Ugh, I don't know. I have no clue. Excuse me while I call.